Today's the big one then. We are going up the Alp, unbanded, no aids. It's all down to me to get up there. Last time I did this on my own was 2017 and I did it in two hours and 31 minutes. Uh, my aim today is just to try and beat that. I have no idea whether I'm as fit, not as fit as what I was then. So that's my, uh, my line in the sand to try and beat that from last time. Got a bit of a shoulder issue, it's hurting. I don't know how that's going to affect me too much on the bike, whether it is, whether it won't. Um, but if you want to know more about that, check out last week's vlog. Um, basically, I'm not quite sure what's done it, but yeah. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't have too much of an effect. Got a couple of bananas. Got some of these vegan uh, jealous sweets. Plant-based grizzly bears. So they're just going to be a little bit of a sugary snack. I don't know, every corner or something as I go up. And the aim is to take this nice and slow, not push myself too much, and then if I've got something left at the end to push, um, that's basically what I'm going to do. I don't know. I am a bit nervous about this. Doing the banded group ride two weeks ago has definitely given me more confidence that I'm able to do this. That's, that's helped me get over a bit of a mental block of doing this again. So... Let's see how it goes. I'm going to get changed, get myself sorted and jump on the bike. I just want to jump in here before I get on the bike. Um, I'm just editing the video and I realised that there's a clicking noise that my bike is making throughout the video and it gets worse towards the end. So I'm really sorry about that clicking noise. Obviously need to give the bike a little bit of TLC. Um, so yeah, I hope it doesn't bother you too much throughout. But let's get back to it and see how we get on. Right, we're just about to turn off to make our way up the climb. Um, shoulder is easing up slightly, I hope, because the first couple of kilometers there were quite difficult. I can't reach in front of me to pick my companion up and stuff up with my left hand. So this is gonna be a bit of a challenge. Um, but we're about to come up to the start of the climb. Is it 21 turns? It'll pop up in a second. A few of the guys are already a, a little way ahead. Some of the, these guys in the group can do it in under 60 minutes. That's just a pipe dream for me. But, good. Aim for that time from before. Two hours, 31 minutes. <clears throat> Let's go. So yeah, just stopped there to uh, drop my training difficulty down. I don't have a great range of gears on my bike. So just dropping it down to give me a bit of extra headroom if I need it. Oh, at the top end, because uh, no doubt I will when by the time we get near the top. Just trying to stick at a constant pace and probably slightly less than what I think what I can do. And then as I said, second half, if I've got anything left, Go a bit faster. Time to get my head down and start ticking the corners off. Made it to turn number one. <laughs> Nearly 10 minutes just to get to turn number one. That is quite a long drag, that one though. Turn it back, going the other way. I'm trying to just keep it a low 
a low level of watts per kilogram just to keep this steady I dropped off I started off more in the green zone but I've dropped down now to sort of blue and grey just to see how I'm feeling midway up but yeah turn 21 done Just come in round turn number 20, another 10 minutes. Oh, this is gonna take some time. A couple of shorter ones now. It'd be nice to tick off some numbers mentally. Um, and there's people already up well ahead of turn number 14. And I'm uh, I'm a minute and a half down on uh, the next rider up, uh, up the hill is Andy, Andy Creer. So this is gonna be quite a lonely ride for the rest of the way up. But I don't feel too bad, I'm keeping it low. A couple of problems I do have is this camera only has a 30 minute maximum record time, which means I have to press the start button again. Um, and I can't lift my arm up I ain't much higher than this. So every time I have to restart the camera, I'm gonna end up having to stop on the road. So by the time I get up to the top, you might just lose this part of the camera. I just won't be able to to get to it but we'll see gonna keep going nearly halfway to turn 19 already which is nice come on there then this one was a uh, four and a half minutes just over a nice sign there saying we've only got 9.8 kilometers left to go <laughs> oh what are we doing 31 and a half minutes so far a little short one here to 16 and then a nice long one up to uh to 15. feeling okay i think as i said keeping it slow and steady keeping an eye on the shoulder but yeah let's go come on
We're just rounding turn number 15, which was that long, long one. Seven minutes, 42 seconds that one took. Shorter route, little one up to 14. We're going up into the clouds and the snow now as well. Nine and a half kilometers still to go. Still feeling okay, just keeping it slow and steady. My neck started to hurt a bit because I think I'm trying to compensate for the shoulder. So I'm just trying to keep it loose, move a bit. But uh, yeah, still quite a distance to go. Gonna grab myself a banana now as well. A bit of extra energy. Stopped to take a couple of tablets for the shoulders, some painkillers. That long swing around to turn number 13, uh, seven, nearly eight minutes. Um, yeah, some sh I think shorter ones now, just around the 500, 600 meter mark for the next couple of um, numbers to tick off. So hopefully they'll be slightly quicker. It's about halfway, according to the little diagram in the middle but that'll be halfway from the start point, not halfway from the bottom of the climb. So a little way to go yet. Feeling okay, a little bit of stronger efforts you can see in the graph at the bottom. I just wanted to get to 13. <laughs> I'll put a bit of a bit of power in, but time to start again. Off we go. coming up to round turn number 11 just trying to step it up a little bit just to see what I've got in my legs it's probably a bit early I might uh, struggle later on but that's uh, turn 11 of 21 uh, five out of 12 kilometers you're not even halfway yet oh that's depressing but uh, yeah, at least I can see number one turn on the bottom there. Getting there. These few corners, as I said, are about five to 600 meters, which is nice, but then we've got that long one, 1.2 kilometer one coming up. I'm gonna keep going. I don't, I don't feel too bad. Feeling okay. Trying to keep it sensible. Hopefully, well, we're 65 minutes in. Hopefully it's not uh, gonna feel too bad giving up the rest, so yeah.
coming around turn number nine then. I'm gonna have to ease off a little bit back into the gray and blue zones. Just oh, starting to struggle slightly. I think I've gone out a bit too strong on those ones. There's a couple of turns a rest. <laughs> it's not really a rest, but you know what I mean. Just take this one slightly easier, recover a little bit, get ready to go again. I just reached turn number eight. I need to just get off, stand up for a minute. Just hit a bit of a wall. Where I'm holding myself quite stiff because of my shoulder. I've now got shoulder, my neck's hurting a bit down my back. And I can't stand up on the bike because it's too much pressure on the shoulder. So I'm not taking any, any sort of weight off my, my backside area. It's just gonna have a couple of minutes just to, to ease it off, hopefully. Oh, I can't, just hit a wall. Okay, just switched the headphones over to put some music on. So sorry to the guys in Discord that I disappeared. I think uh, a lot of you are nearly finished or have finished already, so. I just need some motivational music. Push up the last bit. Hopefully I can just break through this wall. Feel a bit better after stopping. But come on, off we go again. So that's the long drag over a kilometer up to turn six done. Through the, uh, through the snow, the road cutting the snow, turning up now to a 500 meter one, up to turn number five. I need to head down and get that one done. And then I think I'm gonna stop for another bit of a break before doing the last few. Still, I'm not, I definitely feel better this time than I did the last time I did it. I was in pain by this point. I'm in pain this time for different reasons, um, which at the moment seem to be okay. Just manage them a bit, but yeah, I need to get off the bike and just stand up for a second again. 
just to sort of ease all of those pressure points. So let's get this, this one done and have a break. number five just going to jump off have a banana give my legs and my backside a bit of a break again we're over two hours now 111 minutes on the out climb just hoping the last little bit carries on as i am and i don't hit another wall i'll be all right got a bit of a longer one coming up though just 850 meters so that's another bit of a a slog, but after that one, I think it's a bit, it's a good mental thing to get done, isn't it? So yeah, I'm gonna have this, I'll be back in a sec. Okay then, back on, let's get this done. Let's hope I don't wanna, don't need to stop again. Crack this all the way to the end now, hopefully. One other person left on the course, that's Andy, who's seven and a half minutes ahead of me. Cracking job, everyone who's already finished. And especially those guys that are doing it for the first time who uh, were nervous about it or not sure if they'd manage it. But yeah, huge congratulations to you guys. But uh, time to get my head down, try and get to the end. Not gonna do it in under two hours now because I'm not gonna get to the top in six minutes. But hopefully the two and a half hours is in, in sight. So yeah, head down, let's get the rest done. Just turning number three, and I, yeah, I'm hurting now. I'm hurting. I need to just, I need a break. Everything is hurting. Getting, just, I feel like I've just hit a wall on that last chug up. Oh. Couple more to go. This short stint up to two, slightly longer up to one, and then obviously the longer from one up to the finish line. Just need a couple of seconds out of the saddle. All right, one, let's get up to two. Come on.
got to number one. I need to stop. I need a break. But I've got to do this last bit in 10 minutes when I to get to my target. So, oh, I don't think I'm going to be making that. Oh, man. I hurt. Two and a half hours. But the last, still 1.2 kilometers to go. Oh man. All right, come on. Let's just get on with it. This is gonna be a very stop start, I think, just to push through. to just crest the hill at the top. There's the finish banner. Oh man. Pushing across the line. Oh, I can't talk a lot. Come on. Yes, I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh, another helmet. Doing that again just feels like a huge mental weight lifted after the pain from the last one. And actually, oh, the time's gone. I think I did it a bit quicker, but only slightly. Oh. That was hard. Two hours, 40 minutes. Uh, I missed the time for the outside climb. It's at 146, 147 minutes. Oh, just under two and a half hours. Oh, I'm so chuffed to have done that. Thank you to everyone with uh, messages, Mark and Eric and stuff. I really helped at the end. Sorry I couldn't respond, but yeah, they really helped to push at the end. So thank you. I'm going to uh, do the little loop and enjoy the ride back down. And this time, unlike two weeks ago, I will not be busting the gut to do it as fast as I can. Uh, yeah, we have a nice coach at the bottom now. Come on. I am so chuffed to have done that again. Last time I did it, Two hours, 31 minutes, four seconds. This time, two hours, 26 minutes, 34 seconds. So there or thereabouts, four and a half minutes quicker. Uh, to get to the top, uh, I was in nowhere near as much pain as I was the last time I did it. I, I still have memories of the struggle that it was to get to the top. I struggled this time, definitely. And I had issues with my shoulder, which seemed to ease up throughout the uh, the course of the of the ride. I feel that I definitely paced myself this better uh, this time better, and I fueled myself. I had the jelly sweets and the the um, uh, bananas. And um, when I look back, I didn't actually plan to do the full out when I did it in in 2018. So this time I went in knowing what to expect, and and having done it a few weeks ago as a banded group ride, definitely helped. But I didn't notice. I didn't realize on Strava there's a great feature where you can compare two segments with each other. So let's jump over to Strava and have a look. So on here, the black line on the graph, you can see there is actually uh, my previous time from 2018. And then the purple, I suppose that is, is this ride. And the fascinating thing that I noticed about this 
is I was at one stage nearly 12 minutes, over 12 minutes, 12 minutes, 18 seconds behind my previous time at seven kilometers last time. That's a huge time to be behind. And there was moments where I thought, and you could see here where I've stepped it up thinking, actually, I'm probably going a little bit too slowly here. Um, and I could give some more. But look towards the end how much uh, I caught up and finished four and a half minutes ahead just because I paced myself properly this time. When I did it last time, I, I, I got to the top and it was just... I'd cycle a bit and then have to stop, cycle a bit and stop. The extra headroom I gave myself by not busting a gut at the beginning has paid dividends at the end. And it was only in the last, it's called, what's that, one and a half kilometers that I've managed to, to pull out that four and a half minute um, uh, in, uh, reduction, get there in the, end, in the end, reduction on my previous time. So... That's absolutely fascinating. And I think that shows me how much I can improve more. I think I can go potentially stronger after a few more weeks. And I could probably improve on that time by pacing and pushing a little bit harder in the early stages um, and carrying on through. It's all a brilliant data. I've never knew you could do this. And I love the way the little dots go up. So you can see how far the black line, which is the previous uh, attempt, was ahead. And then where I've stopped in certain places. And then at the very end, I've caught up with myself and, and flown past. That is brilliant data. I love to be able to see that. Um, but what a great ride. Yeah, and, I, and I'll always say to anybody who's thinking, do I, do I do it? Don't I do it? Am I ready for it? Give it a go. You don't even need to get to the top. You can just stop halfway up if, if you're not doing very well. Look at my previous video. that I went into that without any any thought that i would get to the top whatsoever i just thought i'm going to do as many turns as i can put some kilometers or meters into the tron bike um, which i still haven't got uh and then i got i managed to get to the top i really pushed myself and i know there are a lot from the team the target 2.5 team of people who were doing that for the first time and it was great the uh the motivation having you guys on discord uh and you know chatting in the companion app I didn't have that the last time I did it. So to have that support from you guys around, have a bit of a laugh and a joke, just makes those extra, you know, rotations of the legs, extra few meters uh, seem so much easier. So thank you, everyone. I'm so chuffed to have done that. Um, and if you're new to the channel, you know, come along. I do a weekly, uh, a weekly vlog, just documenting my journey, trying to lose a bit of weight and uh, improve my cycling. Uh, on mainly using Zwift. So yeah, if you are new, do subscribe and come along. And if you did enjoy this channel, please hit the like button and comment below, all of that sort of stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, also, if you're new to the channel, do come along to our group rides. I'll put the links in the description below. We do a, uh, a group race, some form of race on a Thursday night. Uh, and then on a Saturday, we do uh, a group ride of some sort, a hilly group ride or a flat group ride, which is more of a, it's a banded group ride where we all just get together and have a good chat. So come along uh, and enjoy those things well, with us and the links will be below. So um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.